Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am at uh, what they call the Cartwright Trailhead uh, in the Boise foothills, and I have the DJI Air 3. Uh, this is a spot I've never flown at before. Uh, and, uh, you know, I struggled to get an internet connection here uh, to show you UAV forecast, but you can see it's a nice day. Uh, it is a blue sky sunny day. Uh, in the high 50s. Uh, it was showing some wind, but I'm not feeling much wind at all. The, the Air 3 can handle it no matter what. So uh, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just gonna look around here. I'm gonna show you what they call the Polecat Trail, and, and I'll put some graphics up on the screen right now. I took some pictures of at the trailhead uh, to show you, so we'll put those up right now. So in any case, that gives you, that gives you a look at what we're, uh, and what we're doing here and uh, yeah let's just get this let's just put this drone in the air and let's just have a look around okie dokie uh, we've got everything synced up here uh, let's take a look at the safety menu quickly before we take off we're in bypass mode uh, and optimal return to home displaying the radar map return to home altitude we're gonna crank that way up we are in the uh, there we go, size we can get it because we're in some hill, a hilly area here and if we got behind some terrain, uh, we'd want to give the drone uh, every opportunity to find its way home. And again, I'm gonna crank the altitude up here. We're not gonna go that high. Uh, we're not gonna go above legal, uh, but since we could be going uphill from here, uh, we may be able to still stay below max legal height uh, above ground level uh, but high, higher than our takeoff point not asking for any calibrations battery looks good uh, goodness gracious I can't think of anything else to do here but take off so I'm gonna click uh, take off on the controller on the app I should say and you can see the drone taking off there and I'm gonna go straight up seven meters and we'll give a shot, give it a shot at getting, uh, yeah, that's about seven and a half meters, but we'll give it a shot at, uh, at getting a precision landing. Uh, so anyway, let's bring it back down and get a look at us here. And it's gonna be squawking because it's gonna see me uh, here in the, in the uh, Tahoe and so forth. And we're gonna have to go up because we're going to be going over uh, the top of a hill here. So uh, anyway, reversing up now, reverse and up. And this guy is, uh, I just flew the Mini and I forgot how much more powerful this drone is than the Mini. And let me drop that camera down so you can see. Whoops, it took us right for some reason. Well, it's staying firmware update and it took us right back to the Go Fly app. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to go, go fly. There we are. And we'll worry about that firmware update at another time. That could just be the battery. I'm not sure. Maybe I haven't flown with this battery uh, since the last update. But uh, in any case, uh, you can see where I parked at down here. And uh, that's the Boise foothills behind us there, kind of the, the west side, the west end. Uh, so this Cartwright Road kind of mostly goes uh, east-west. And that's Cartwright Road right there that, we, uh, that I'm showing you that we just came down. Or that I got to to get here. I was just east of that. I drove that road to get here. But here you're getting a look at the at the trail system here. So this is called the Polecat Loop up here. So let's just move off that direction here and just kind of take a look here. Take a look at the trail system. And yeah, we're pretty high. We're 118 meters high. So let's let's bring it down a little bit. Got good signal. We don't need to be that high. Kind of give you a look at the trail system. 
just looking at this trail, uh, you know, I've seen people heading off on mountain bikes and uh, uh, hikers also coming down the trail. So let's move around the other way here, take a look at what we're what we're looking at here. So this little gully here, there's always a creek when you get into a gully like that. And I'll be darned if I know what creek that is. Uh, I can't tell you. Wish I knew. Something I'll have to look up. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can look it up on the map and I'll put it on the screen right now. But look at that trail. That's uh, mountain bikers love that. This is kind of mountain bike hiker heaven. So off on the, well, you see trails on the left and the right. So yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunity for recreation there. Uh, that's why uh, this part of Idaho is one of the reasons that it's so bicycle friendly, um, not just on these mountain bike trails, but the, uh, the city itself and, and well, this whole part of the state, there's a lot of bike lanes, etc. Uh, very bike friendly, but you know, you can see, yeah, so we're getting a little bit of break up here. So I'm gonna turn around, yeah, okay. I, I, my uh, FPV feed broke up a little bit there. Let's get let's get up to max legal here. And actually, I could probably be higher than that as I get. Let's get closer to this ridge here. And because we're kind of uphill there, I can I could go higher than the 109 meters that it's telling me uh, from our takeoff point. But let's take, yeah, so, you know, I, I, I am not familiar with this, this trail that I'm looking at here doesn't look like, I don't know, it's probably not one of the ma maintained trails. It looks like it's something that somebody made. So let's head off, let's just go down the ridge here and uh, head off this direction and see what we can see. And as you can see, we're, uh, we're pretty, even though our uh, signal strength, me, or our, excuse me, uh, the app is telling me that we're 110 meters uh, above the takeoff point. Uh, we're, we're a lot closer to the ground than that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom down on this. Yeah, I don't, yeah, this is definitely not, this is just a, uh, it's not a regular trail, so. What I can tell you about the trail systems here is that the uh, the city has been gradually buying up land in the foothills uh, and uh, keeping it away from development. In other words, uh, keeping it wild uh, so that, you know, they don't, the city doesn't encroach uh, completely. Uh, onto the foothills, because you know, there's enough demand for housing that, trust me, there'd be developers buying up all this land if they could. Yeah, that looks like a trail on the other side there, doesn't it? Let's take a look at that. And I'm not gonna go down because I don't wanna get blocked by terrain here. I don't know, let's zoom in on that and see what we can see. Yeah, that's not a trail. That's just a, just another gully. And is that a creek? I don't know. I don't think so. Looks like a gully to me. And you can see our home point uh, off in the distance over there. So let's head back that way, and we can actually go on the other side of the uh, of the road here. And I'm going to put my attitude indicator up. There we go. I like that attitude indicator. I don't know why I didn't have that up. But anyway, uh, attitude indicator is up. And we'll hit, yeah, there's that trail. Yeah, let's let's take a look at that. So it looks like it makes a, a U-turn right here. And where does it go? Oh, yeah, it looks like it, it, it uh, then turns back on itself. Or no. Okay, so, well, I'm a little bit, uh, I, I got a little bit off there. So, yeah, so let's see. Heading straight uphill. 
I'm going to turn around again and see if I can see, give you a better idea of where this trail goes. Yeah, so it looks like it's continually turning back on itself, zigzagging its way uh, up the hill. And is it splitting off here or is this just another? That looks like the regular part of the trail. Yeah, well, this is this is part of it too. So uh, the intersection is... I'm confusing a couple different trails, so that's a turn right there. Let's pick up that camera. And we saw the trail going off this way as well. So let's back up and see if we can see that intersection where those two trails intersect. Or maybe they're completely separate. You know what? They probably are. It could be a loop. Yeah, they don't intersect, do they? So this guy... This trail, it does, okay, so there it's coming up the side of the mountain there and evidently intersects back here someplace. So I'm just exploring, so uh, it's, it's just kind of interesting to see this. So yeah, uh, well, where is this one going? It's just zigzagging up this ridge here is what it looks to me like, yeah. Going a completely different direction. So, uh, yeah, they like I said, these trails are all connected, and there's people that uh, that know them well. So let's get back down here, and uh, and come back down to where we were at. So where our home point is, at least. And let's take a look across the road here and see where that trail goes. So you can see me right there uh, by the, uh, and I'm still zoomed in. Gosh darn it. Uh, no wonder I was struggling there a little bit. So let's move back to one by zoom. I tend to forget sometimes I zoom in and I tend to forget that I've got that zoom on. So let's go cross, let's cross the road. I saw a number of people, uh, mountain bikers heading up this trail. I didn't see anybody... Yeah, so it looks like this guy, and we got power lines there, so we're going to stay well above them. Uh, yeah, we're right above those power lines. Let's see where this, where these guys are going on this trail. Well, it almost turns into a road there, doesn't it? Look at that. Picking that camera up. So this is the Boise front here. So it's almost hard to tell, for me to tell, which is the trail and which is a road. I mean, obviously this looks like a fire road right here. So is is that part of the trail or is the, the, the yeah, I think this up here is the actual, uh, the actual mountain bike trail. Well, maybe not. That doesn't look that doesn't look that well ca cared for, uh, so it's a little bit confusing. Well, let's uh, let's head back that other way. Picking the camera up here so you can see the uh, the foothills, and I just need to be pointed towards that. Uh, Towards the drone there, had a little bit of a signal break up there. Pointing down here, yeah, just another gully. You'd think it would be easy to follow these trails, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, but they tend to kind of disappear. And of course, I'm just looking at the FPV screen in bright sunlight too, so, so take that into consideration. Yeah, okay, there's a trail there, but we are losing, I'm going to grab some altitude, we are losing signal. So that may very well be the trail right there. And, and what I saw there that looked like a fire road, 
uh, may actually be the trail. So I'm going to go ahead and crank up a little bit of altitude here. Let's look off in the distance here. I'm going to zoom in and let's see what we're looking at down there. Trying to do a good zoom. So, yeah, I don't know what we got going. Is that, it almost looks like an, yeah, I don't know. So I'm not going to say. And you know what? We likely aren't going to be able to fly out that far, but uh, we'll get, yeah, we're, we're running into signal issues. So again, uh, discretion is the better part of valor. Let's bring this guy, let's bring this guy back. Yeah, okay, let's pick up the camera. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember. Well, I'm not going to say what that development is because I'm not 100% sure. So uh, if I figure it out, I'll look on the map. I'll, I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, but let's head back towards our home point. Yeah, it looks like we got some houses right here. And there's those... Uh, there's those power lines again. So let's roughly start bringing it back to us. I'm trying to bring the drone back so we, uh, so we get uh, a, a little better signal. It's me dropping the camera down so you can see what's going on. That's, that looks like somebody's house, doesn't it? So we're not going to fly over the top of that. We're going to... That looks like... Uh, Quite a, uh, quite a homestead up there. So we've got, we've got good signal again. And that is Boise off in the distance there. In fact, let's zoom in on that. Well, we were already zoomed in, so there you go. I, I, I tend to forget when I'm zooming. So let's bring this guy uh, back towards us. And yeah, 59% battery, so we're doing great. So is that a, that looks like a, some kind of trail right now. Well, yeah, I don't know, that gully. No, that doesn't look, that looks like just, uh, yeah, who knows, probably animals, not a mountain bike trail. <laughs> uh, and I, the drone is right close by here. I can hear the drone, so here's the, we're back to the trails here. There's that U-turn, one of the U-turns. It's amazing. I thought following some of these trails would be, from the air, it'd be easier than what it is. Particularly when you're, uh, when you're, when you're, uh, you're looking at, I'm looking at the FPV screen and this DJI RC2 is 700 nits, but even at 700 nits, uh, it helps to be in the shade. Uh, but the problem with that is you also are trying to keep your, uh, uh, your uh, antenna pointed towards the drone and I'm doing that okay so I have a feeling let's zoom in on these right here and these just look like uh, farmhouses and that is Cartwright Road off in the distance there So this is all new territory to me, guys. So if I'm kind of stumbling around here, that's why I don't uh, I don't know this territory that well. But I wanted to show you something different. Uh, the other thing I'll say is I'm not exactly sure when I'll publish this video. Uh, it could be uh, you might be watching this in January, in the middle of winter. It is uh, the end of October right now, and I'm taking advantage of some nice sunny days while we have them. Boy, that's quite a ranch down there, isn't it? That is quite a ranch. 
Looks like I would say there's some horses uh, being raised there. Okay, let's kick it back out. And uh, yeah, start heading back, heading back our way. Again, Boise and Meridian off in the distance there. Yeah, you know, you get, when, when you're in this kind of terrain, I, uh, you know, I'm, when, for instance, I guess when I fly out at the Snake River Canyon, I'm used to being able to fly out quite a bit further without having signal issues. But, uh, but out here, because you've got terrain, etc., uh, you're not getting that, you're not getting terribly far away. Okie dokie. So uh, you guys get the picture here. Let's uh, get pointed up at the Boise front again and give you another look at that. And then we'll do a return to home and uh, see if we can get a precision landing. We're only about at 50% uh, battery, but we've been doing the, I've got the screen recording here. I can see I've had the screen recording going for about 20 minutes so and again you know we're showing 115 meters height right here but obviously we're a lot closer to the ground than that as you can see let's just let's just look over the top of this ridge huh see what's on the other side I think I'm pretty sure what you're seeing there on the right hand side of the screen uh, screen there is some greenhouses. Uh, I passed them on the way out here so let's get a little closer and see if we can zoom in on those. Hitting that zoom button. Yeah greenhouses that's what I thought. Yep. Uh, you know, those are things that unless you drove by it, you would never know it's there. Yeah, and I got a little signal degradation there. Seeing if I can turn it around. Weak signal, adjust antennas. We're pointed right at the drone. If I can go up a little bit. Yeah, okay, it took that command. Okay, you know what, enough of that. Let's, uh, let's bring this guy back to us. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do, because I just love messing around with that uh, uh, augmented reality return to home. Let's, uh, let's bring this guy home. Drop some altitude here. And let's let it go over the top of this. Uh, okay, this it's back. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to hit return to home on the controller. Return to home. And let's see what it does. So there's, you get, see on the augmented reality, you see that green line. I kind of wanted to get lower behind that uh, ridge. So, you know, it would have to go over. But, you know, it obviously sees what it's doing. <laughs> uh we're right over the top of that ridge. Uh, yeah, if I'd have dropped down any lower, I would have lost signal and it would have put it into uh, lost signal return to home. And that's what I'm telling you is, you know, you've got to work hard to lose your DJI drone. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm saying it's tough. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. So pretty much a straight line right home. And I know I said it before, but I'm just to anybody that knows this area, if you want to look it up on the map, that's Cartwright Road down there. And I am at the, uh, gosh, what do they call it? The Cartwright Trailhead, I believe they call it. And it's where people get on the Polecat Loop. Again, lots of availability for uh, recreation here. That's me dropping the camera down, and I'm going to let go of that wheel right now, and we're going to let the uh, drone do the rest. 
and you can see that green line going straight down and it should and it's it's dropping in altitude really fast comes in kind of like an airplane so let's see if it uh, and I need to fire up the uh, action 2 camera yep so it pointed the camera down and I have got the action 2 camera recording so you're gonna see that landing it looks pretty damn close yeah, it's going to be right on the H. And it should be picking that camera up there. It picked the camera up. And uh, yeah, we're, we're right on. It's going to be right on the H. Ah. Yeah, a little wind came up. Look at that, right on the H. Uh, I can tell you, DJI has done a good job with uh, precision landing. Okay, uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, I thought the uh, DJI Air 3 <laughs> acquitted itself uh, quite well there. Uh, again, you know, flying around in these hills, you're, I'm kind of down in a hole, and so you're shooting through terrain often. Uh, you, you, you know, you're just not going to be able to fly any, as far without getting uh, signal issues, and we had a few of those. But you did get to see the territory here and uh, some of the mountain bike trails. What interested me is it was harder for me to follow some of those trails than I thought it would be. Now it's going to look different what you see on the video off the SD card. It's going to be nice and clear. But as you're looking at that uh, FPV screen, it's not quite so easy. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, let me give you just a quick look around here. You can kind of see the trailhead here. And uh, lots of folks here on seen folks coming and going on mountain bikes and so forth and uh, and there's the uh, trailhead off in the distance and I showed you pictures of that signage already oh and they allow horses you can see horse trailer parking only on this end of it so uh, you know they this and this long end so that way they allow uh, you know if somebody's got a horse trailer and they want to take their horses up here uh, they can do that so uh, gosh I guess that's about the, it. I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun uh, flying it. Uh, yeah, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Air 3, uh, just an amazing piece. So uh, yeah, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking here, yeah, okay. All I'm saying, and just right now, it just occurred to me that I didn't take advantage of, the, uh, of that uh, 3X telephoto lens. Anyway, neither here nor there. There's places I could have taken advantage of it, and I didn't. Uh, but we'll have to just, that's just an excuse to come out here again, isn't it? All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye.